morning and welcome to the Facebook Live Account with Bridging Hope Counseling. My name is Heidi Waldock. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. Um, I am a therapist here with Bridging Hope Counseling. We have offices in Lionel Lakes, Buffalo, and Rogers, Minnesota. Um, today I'm actually just going to be giving a short word of encouragement, um, hoping that I can kind of bring some light into some of your homes and just kind of um, shift your day around if maybe it isn't going well, or if it is, it's just a reminder of um, that you're doing a great job. And even if you're not, that it's still, we're still working, we're still moving, we're still, we're still um, able to take these steps in front of one step in front of the other. Um, so today what I, what I wanted to just kind of give a word of encouragement on is that we need to focus on what is instead of what isn't. Um, and I see this so much um, and we do it automatically without realizing that we're even doing it. Um, like even driving on the road, we will focus on that person didn't do what they're supposed to do or I can't believe that person and we get very offended very quickly because this person didn't do what I think that they should do and so we kind of instill our own like thoughts on other people and then what happens because we think like this we actually do the same thing to ourselves, and so then we're focusing on what we're not doing and some people will will kind of say, well, that's just because I have high expectations for myself. And if I didn't do this, I um, I wouldn't be where I'm at. And I just got to say, I think that's BS. Um, if you think that you having high expectations on yourself is talking crap and negative thoughts to yourself, and that's how you have, expe that's how you've been able to have success, I would challenge you to, if you focus on more of what is going right and you shift your talk towards yourself as what you're doing right and what you're doing well, you will have even more than what you have because we don't even use the full potential of who we are as human beings because a lot of times we're being squashed by our own negative self-talk and then also the negative self-talk that we have coming from other people. Um, so Tony Robbins um, is quoted saying that your life is controlled by what you focus on. Um, and I, I can't um, stress this enough, but this is one of those things where we think about it in our mind. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. But then as soon as you hear that quote, there's something that happens and it's right in front of you and you're upset about something or frustrated with is something that you're experiencing within yourself. And it's like it just goes out of our brain so quickly. Like, how can we make something like that be a practice? Like, how can we shift from, yeah, I know, you know, what my life is focused on, you know, that's what's going to grow. And I, I know that. Well, the, the biggest thing that I have learned is that I needed to recognize within me that I'm not focusing on the things that I want to, that I have to be vulnerable with myself. I first say I have to start with me to realize, oh, I am kind of getting upset about that driver. I am annoyed with something that my husband did. And I don't want to be thinking like that. He's an amazing husband. Who cares about this driver? Who cares? Like, how does that affect my life? That just causes more negativity within me, within my day, to be upset about this driver. And instead, how can I just let it go? Like, who cares? And so I want to focus on, if I'm driving, focus on peaceful music. Focus on fun music or maybe listen to a podcast or a video, a motivational video. Just listen to it. Like, that's what I want to focus on. And if there is something that maybe would have upset me before, I'm going to recognize it and I'm going to think, nope. Nope, I'm going to let that go. It's no big deal. Um, I hope that driver is a good day. I don't care. I'm not going to let that negativity come in. And same with like your spouse or um, your kids or a coworker. What is it that they're doing well? What is it that they're doing right? What is it that you're doing right, that you're doing well? What is going right? What is like, what is um, going well, what do you experience that is positive in your life instead of focusing on what isn't? Um, so even just like simple things, like starting with, um, I have shoes on my feet. Um, I have a whole, I have a bed to sleep in. I have a car to drive in. I have food in the refrigerator. Like, and this is practicing gratitude. So this is this is gratitude is a very very effective technique that's really really helpful. And there's lots of studies on the value of it. Um, but I'm kind of trying to bring it back into 
taking it out of and pulling the roots from the things that aren't going well. Um, so instead, being able to focus on this beautiful garden of our life that we have in front of us and seeing the flowers and the beautiful grasses that we have instead of the weeds. And so pulling the weeds of our beautiful garden of our life is recognizing that I am focusing on some things that are negative and I don't want to be doing that. So I have to first start with me to say, yep, yep, I'm doing this. We struggle to do this because we think, oh, no, that's other people. You know, that's other people. We hear a quote like that and we're like, oh, yeah, I get that. Yeah. I mean, I've done this. This is why I'm saying this. <laughs> I'm saying this because I've done the same thing where I'm like, oh, yeah, I get that quote. That is so true. Oh, that is awesome. That's like this amazing quote and so life changing. And then I go and I have this thought that's like negative about somebody. I mean, Heidi, what are you doing? So this is something that so the first step is me being able to recognize I am focusing on what isn't instead of what is. Um, and then I just need to step into that place of gratitude and focusing on what is and then start to speak it out loud. So like if there is something that I see in someone else or I see like I want to encourage my husband and say you just did an amazing job at that meeting or I'm so proud of you with how you t took that call and how you handled that situation. Like say things where you're speaking it out to other people and then speaking it to you and watch what happens. It actually grows. And so what happens is we kind of start to shift our mindset and we have more of the, the things that are going well and less of the things that aren't going well. Did your situation change? If you look back, did your situation change? Probably not. You still have the same things that aren't going well and the things that are going well. But you now have more positivity that you are experiencing in your life. Instead of focusing on what isn't, you're focusing on what is. And so it's... Really, I mean, it's kind of a it's kind of a mind it's a mind shift. But it, this is when we start practicing it, so we start focusing on what we're grateful for and um, and what we're appreciative of. Those things grow, and we have less of the things that aren't. And so, I just want to encourage you today to focus on what is going well in your life, um, what things that you're you are doing well, what things, even things that you enjoy doing, things that kind of bring you purpose and that bring you life where you're just like, yes, I feel so good about myself. I'm so proud of myself. Even if it's something so little, you think it's so little, it's not. Um, so take those moments, speak it out loud to yourself, speak it out loud to other people, and continue to work on focusing what is instead of what isn't. Have a wonderful day.